Hey, 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 this is your main man, DJ CEO. I am sitting in for Tampa Bay Tammy, my better half, y'all. I just want you to know that <clears throat> Tampa, Tampa Bay Tammy is the talk show you want to be listening to right now. Let me tell you why. Well, first and foremost is, <clears throat> even though she's my better half, I'm the other half. And so I matter, you know, yeah. We we matter in, in, in the whole equation of things, in the whole thick of things. First thing I want to do, though, is let everybody know that the Braxton Daryl Johnson uh, golf outing is not being held today. We canceled that event uh, because of the thunderstorms that are, are in the area, and we just did not want to take the chance of uh, – of, of that happening again last year we, we we got some rain and some lightning so this year we just did not want to uh take that risk uh, with the children so that being said we're out here at the uh, beautiful campus of 5508 uh thap uh, thap is the tampa hillsborough action plan and uh founded by james hammond um and we are just glad to be out here at this at this beautiful campus let me tell you what's going on out here this is the weekend. This is the Juneteenth weekend uh, extravaganza, so to speak. We had yes, last night we had the uh, Black Wall Street experience. Um, it was it it was a play. Uh, the play was was uh, held here at that at our uh, beautiful ten thousand square foot event facility. I'm telling you right now, if you have not seen it since it's be rent, rent, since it's been redone. You are in for a treat when you come out to to visit uh, the uh, the space, <clears throat> the event space. Let me tell you what's going on today out here. At, at nine o'clock this morning, we had an entrepreneurship and real estate panel. Panel, it was good. I was able to, to just stick my head in and and watch some of the uh, some of the uh, the host um, talk about uh, their experience uh, in real estate and and also in running businesses. Uh, right now, uh, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we've got a small business expo going on out here. So if you're out and about and you're riding around and you want something to do, come over here to 5508 North 50th Street. It's the THAP, uh, it's the, uh, Thap uh, um, campus, and just hang out with us. Uh, we've got uh, vendors here, uh, vendors from, from all over the, uh, the Bay Area. Um, and let me tell you this. I just ate this hamburger. Man, it this look, the hamburger was so hot, I just had to put it down because it's but it's good. You know, it's the kind of hot that it's the kind of hot that where you have to eat real fast because it's so hot. Jesus Christ, that hamburger was hot. But it was it's by Jazzy B Grill. Jazzy B Grill is one of these food trucks, you know, that goes from location to location. And man, they popped in here today and they got some burgers. I mean, these burgers are good. I'm telling, and not just good burgers, but good fries. So stop by the food truck out here at 5508 and get you a burger. They got Jazzy Quarter Pound, Jazzy's Quarter Pounder. They got Jazzy's Bacon and Blue Cheese Burger. They got Jazzy's Sriracha Dare You Dare You Burger. Now that's what I ate. What What was I thinking? Um, it's so hot, man. Look, my my stomach uh, bubbling right now. They got the Jazzy Surf and Turf, and then they got the Jazzy's Q Burger. That's that's a, that's, a, that's their signature burger. So we got bacon and cheddar cheese topped with onion rings and barbecue sauce. And then they got the Jazzy's Philly steak. They must be from Philadelphia. I, I got to check out where these guys are from. All I can tell you is, is that what they selling right now? It's off the chain. They got some jumbo wings, Jazzy's jumbo wings for eight bucks. Uh, tossed in your choice of sauce, garlic, parmesan, honey, hot, sweet chili barbecue, autumn. Uh, atomic buffalo and mango habanero oh man they got some stuff for you and then their sides are like french fries cheese fries uh what's that oh loaded fries onion rings nachos they, they, they got a nice little menu <clears throat> and the food is good so come out to 5508 <clears throat> north 50th street come to the thap uh, campus and enjoy the black wall street experience it, know that when you come out here you are definitely going to enjoy what is being offered. Uh, a, 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 a panel of, uh, uh, of entrepreneurs discussing things, vendors out here selling their wares, and just being around good people. 
that's what you want. That's the kind of experience you want to have uh, when you come out here to 5508. And that's the experience that we give you. It's it's a wonderful campus. It's something that uh, we, we've, uh, I, well, I've been here now for, it's been two years. Uh, we're coming up on on two years in, uh, what month is it? This is June, so I, it's two years. Man, time flies when you're having fun. And we have been having fun right here at 5508. So just let me just briefly tell you about about In Touch Radio. In Touch Radio has been around uh, since 2014, but we started in our home. And uh, after a few years of being in a home, you know, it can get, it can get kind of old. Uh, and we, we've had, we had quite a few guests to come into our home. But, you know, after a while, it's like, wait a minute. We're just bringing way too many people into our household. And that's kind of our sanctuary. So uh, we decided to come out here to 5508. And it has been by far the best move we could have ever made. Um, the the uh, CEO here now is, uh, is Derek. Uh, Blue, uh, Derek Blue is uh, is a plant city born and bred, uh, but he's bringing he's, he's he's bringing his his vision of where this campus is going. And I can tell you right now, if you haven't uh, been here lately, then you've missed a 5508 because there's been a lot of growth in the last uh, few months uh, out here at this campus. We got a lot of things, uh, a lot of programs going on. Derek is also. Um, uh, under under the THAP umbrella, so that you understand, uh, THAP has uh, several uh, companies. They've got the Synergy Company, which handles um, uh, the medical, uh, and then under uh, they have the let's see Synergy. They have uh, 5508, which is a program. 5508, by the way, is a collaboration of businesses. It's a collaborative. It's a it's a business. Incubator is what it is. So if you're a small business, you come out here, you, you get started, get your start here, and um, 5508 uh, offers you over the two to three year period that you're here, they offer you help and assistance in growing your business. So <clears throat> it's it's the kind of place that you want to uh, you want to start your business in because you know it's it's almost like you know uh, I would imagine because I don't know. Um, uh, 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 a woman being pregnant, you know, after nine months, you, 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 uh, you birth the baby. And so after a couple of years, you, you birth your business from here in this incubator to uh, out into the real world where, uh, uh, a lot of businesses are, uh, are, are thriving for, as a matter of fact. So this is the place you want to start your business, 5508. Then 5508 also has a weatherization program. So the weatherization program uh, will assist those that qualify, um, assist them in, in, in bringing their house up to, uh, not, I don't want to say code, but bringing their house up to uh, um, the kind of, uh, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, well, you know what weatherization is. We're talking, we're talking, um, uh, the right roofing. We're talking uh, the right insulation. Uh, we're talking uh, 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 sealant. We're talking, uh, you know, filling in the holes so that so that your your home is is uh, weatherproof. Ah, that's the word I was looking. At. It's it's weatherproof. If you want to call in 813-444-9588, the number is 813-444-9588. Call me. I know you wanted to hear Tampa Bay Tammy's voice, but you got me, DJ CEO, sitting in the seat, sitting in the stead, <clears throat> holding it down for, for my better half, Tampa Bay Tammy. And what I'm going to do right now is just take a quick break. And after the break, we'll be right back. And I believe Tammy's got a, a guest coming onto the show right around twelve thirty at the twelve thirty hour. So I believe you want to hang around and, and uh, hang around for the guests, uh, so that you can uh, enjoy what it is that that they're offering. Um, but other than that, I am going to take me a break, y'all. I'll be right back. Just hang in there. This is 
is Linda Archie with Tyre Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years. And a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. with Tyre Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. All right, y'all, I'm back. This is your main man, DJ CEO, sitting in for my better half, Tampa Bay Tammy, y'all. She is in route right now, and I can tell you her guest is already here. So let me welcome her guest. Hey, guest, how are you? Tell me, give us your name and uh, and what you do. Hi, this is Linda Archie with the Village Market at East Tampa, getting ready for our kickoff on June 22nd from 9 to 2. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Do your thing, <coughs> Linda. Uh, first, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad it's you were able to make. Did you hear your commercial? I did. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Good. Thank good, you. Good. 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 So, uh, the Village Market. T- tell me about that. What What is that all about? Well, the Village Market is an open air market, um, similar to the ones you've probably been to in Ebor City and Tampa Heights and Seminole Heights. Um, it's a big open market. We have lots of fun. We have lots of vendors that uh, come out and sell their wares. We have a stage with live entertainment, music. Um, we have food trucks. We have people cooking food, selling foods. We have a kids zone. We have a bounce house. It's just a great, big, wonderful Saturday morning from 9 to 2. You can come out. Um, we also are doing AfroFit, which is an African dance, cardio, fitness okay. dance. Um, just a you great say time. Afro fit. 
Afrofit Incorporated is the name of the company. Okay. okay. Yes. Oh, it's, that sounds fun. It's lots of fun, lots of fun. So if you're looking for something to do on a Saturday morning, you want to get some fresh produce for Sunday, you know, got to cook those greens and those black eyed peas. We have those there as well. You want to come and get a great meal, you know, a lunch or something. We got fresh fish. We got fried fish. We got mm. barbecue. We got Peruvian food. We got Caribbean food. So come out and get you something to eat. Um, if you're looking for special gifts or something just unique and different, we have lots of vendors that are out there selling. As well. so, so you say the time is from 9 until 2. So uh, it's, it's like 12, 16 right now. What are you doing here? Why aren't you there? Well, it doesn't kick off until June 22nd. So oh. next Saturday is the okay. kickoff. Oh, very good. And very then it'll good. be there from every first and third Saturday of the month up until October. Okay, first and third Saturday. And, and where is the location? It's 3206 North Sanchez Street. It's in Belma Heights. Okay. North Sanchez. You know, I know a little bit about uh, uh, East Tampa, but Sanchez Street, it doesn't jump into my head. I know. It's a it's a little secluded area, actually. But um, 15th Street, if you're on 15th Street, I think a lot of folks know where 15th and Lake is at. Absolutely. Okay, so Sanchez is one street east of 15th Street. So okay. if you're on 15th and Lake, you just go one street east. Okay. Like you're going to 22nd Street, uh -huh. and that's Sanchez Street. It runs right behind 15th Street. Okay, very So, so are you you're close to uh, um, uh, the uh, Orion Fish Market? Not too far from there, right. Okay. We're, we're south of that. South of that. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, so whose bright idea was this? Well, it's it was my church's idea, I guess. I'm tired. Oh, you, you didn't want to steal the idea. You you didn't want to take credit. Well, actually, I think I I'm the one that planted the idea to the church. <laughs> <laughs> to the church, definitely. Okay. Uh, we're we're um, wanting to reach out to the community, and so one of the things I said, you know, we should do something that brings everybody together. You know, on Saturday mornings, people are getting out, trying to you know wash their cars mm -hmm. or going shopping. Mm -hmm. Let them. You know, come here and we can shop and we can do a lot of fun things. And we have educational classes there about affordable housing, um, nutrition and diet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we, we wanted to make it a destination place. So I said, let's do that. We have a huge property. Uh, a lot of folks may remember St. Paul United Methodist School. A lot okay. of people were, were educated at that school wow. in this community. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so... Um, about 15 years ago, our church, Tyre Temple United Methodist Church, we're all in the United Methodist, um, St. Paul closed down. Mm -hmm. And um, we took over the, the whole property, the church. Our church actually moved in. Mm -hmm. And so um, we've refurbished the school playground area, and that's where the village market is. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? Yes, sir. Hey, look, you were talking, and, and then you just kind of stopped talking. <laughs> Uh, and I was focused on the board over here, uh, so I didn't know that. I, you <laughs> no, no, no. I thought maybe we were getting calls in or something like that. Well, if we get a call in, and, and speaking of calls, 813-444-9588. So if you want to call in uh, and, and inquire about the uh, the Village Market, please call Linda, 813-444-9588. She wants to hear from you, and so do I. Yeah. You know, something special today, Linda. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to wait till my wife walks in. Right. <laughs> um, so... I, I'm going to just postpone it just a little bit. And speaking of postpone, we we, we had a, a golf outing today, uh, and we had we canceled the golf outing because of, of the uh, the thunderstorms that are present in the, in the area. Last year we did the golf outing, and it was um we, it, we were rained on, and it, it was some lightning, so we had to kind of we we had to stop uh, and wait until it passed. But uh, this time I just decided. To, since the the weather says it's going to be thundering and lightning and raining, I said just forget it. Let's just let's just be not safe. do it. Let's be, be safe. safe. You definitely. Uh, 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 but of course, as you you know, fate would have it. The sun shining. Um, it looks good outside. <sighs> I let down some people because I've been getting a lot of calls. Oh man, uh, you not having it? You know, we were coming and um, okay, all right. Well, I think what we want to do is probably move it mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to later in the year uh, right around our Power Couples Ball because with the Power Couples Ball we do the ball on Saturday and we do our 5K on Sunday so we may find a way to to, uh, to work in this golf outing because it's just a nine hole golf outing where uh, father and son or father and daughter uh, or mother and son and mother and daughter can come out and, and enjoy themselves um, 
it's about family just mm -hmm. just as the village market is right. about uh keeping that family unit together shopping together buying together having fun together um that's what uh the our our events are about wow that's yeah. a great that's C great keeping family and creating family uh, um it, as, as exactly that's exactly right so tell me something about uh linda archie that i don't know oh wow <laughs> what is there to know about it? okay um in addition to um the village market i am an entrepreneur myself i have a boutique an online boutique and it's called El Diva Couture Boutique. It's the classy, sassy, that's and fabulous. it. That's it. That's it. I'm like, why do I know her? I remember now. I, I know. I look different each time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, whose show were you on? I'm on Cheryl's. Let's talk business with that's Cheryl Casal. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man. <laughs> Small world, huh? It is. It is. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't quite put it up like man I, I know her right right okay uh, yeah so yeah so you see me every month here with cheryl yeah so tell me about the um the um uh online store tell us about it well it's a premier women's um fashion boutique um and we have uh, a assortment of lines we have the um diva plus line we have a first ladies line we have a shoe line we have um Diva blingy t-shirts, the very inspirational shirts. We have um, jewelry. We have an assortment, beautiful wood jewelry. Um, and, of course, blingy jewelry because we're the classy, sassy, and fabulous boutique. <laughs> <laughs> and handbags. And um, it's, it's a great boutique. We ship same day or the next day. Okay. Um, full returns if you're not satisfied. Um, with your purchase or you can exchange and we have very little of that um, and um, it's a wonderful boutique you can find us on Facebook at L Diva Couture Boutique so you remind me of somebody that was in the corporate world and decided that, that they've had enough of that and they just started <laughs> their own thing is, is that you that's me exactly and I'm, I'm gonna tell you a secret uh, Daryl because I haven't told many people my my close family know but I just recently retired after 28 years in the corporate oh, world. So uh, I'm breaking it here. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. I'm breaking it here. Welcome to the club. Yes. 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 That's good. Yes. That's good. Uh, 28 years from where? Department of Defense. Oh, DOD. Oh, yes. shoot. Yes. Well, what did you do with them? I was an investigator. Oh. I investigated um, discrimination in the workplace. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you had an easy job because I know they don't discriminate in the workplace. Oh, wow. You'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so well, why didn't you decide to uh, become uh, an EEO investigator um, in your second life? Well, right now, my passion is fashion. Okay. I um, also have... A couple other things I'm not going to reveal right now. Come on, that, we want to Yeah, know. I know. I'm going to come back later and tell you about them. <laughs> Definitely want everybody to know about it. But I'm working on some other business ventures as well. And um, just wanted to move on. I did it for 28 years. Yeah. Um, I think I, I, I healed some hearts and helped people move on. And Good. And so it was, I think it was time for me to move on as well. You know, um, yeah, I spent 39 years with the uh, federal government. I, I, I worked with the Postal Service. Mm -hmm. uh, I retired as a plant manager. And... Uh, I dealt with a, a lot of um, uh, EEO cases. I sat through a lot of mediations, uh, arbitrations, mm -hmm. um, uh, grievances, and uh, you 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 find you find generally that um, a, a lot of people are not looking for uh, monetary. Uh, they just want to be um, noticed. Right. Right. They um, want to feel appreciated. They want to feel appreciated. And yes. valued. Yes. 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 And, and that's that's in the workplace, but that's, you know, in all of our lives in every aspect. People want to feel appreciated for what they did, what the value they bring. And, um, you know, sometimes in the workplace when you're so mission-focused, you kind of forget the human element of it. Well, um, wh when I, I appreciate companies like, uh, Google and 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 Facebook, uh, uh, because they kind of broke the mold on on um, how the job environment should be. Uh, we came 
we came up in a structured environment, you know, uh, where you, the, the rules were, 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 were stern, you know, you had to do this, 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 and this. And, and at a company like a Google, you know, where you can, you can, you, you know, they got beer breaks, uh, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Right. You can sit up and, and cock your feet up on, on the desk and you can go and take a nap and, it, it's it's just a different kind of environment because they want you to be creative, they want you to be happy, uh, they want you to produce, and um, I think that that change that 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 mold breaking is 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 where the world is going now. And uh, entrepreneurs like yourself, when you break out of that mold of structure, and now you've got uh, an opportunity to kind of let your uh, wings spread out and you can fly the way you want to fly. It's just a different feeling. It is, exactly. You hit it on the head. I tell you, that's exactly where I'm at. You know, once I ventured out into a, to the corporate, out of the corporate world, into the entrepreneur world, and just thought about all of the possibilities, the things that I could be doing, or I could be in this structured job, you know, and, um, you know, as time goes by, it's more not so much, um, it's more about the quality, the quality and the quantity of life you have. You absolutely. Know? Absolutely. And, and, and even after <clears throat> there's, there's been a mindset of, uh, the generation ahead of us that if you work 30 years, you retire and then you, you know, you die after five, 10 years. Exactly. I, and that's really their mindset right right but what we've discovered is is that we're actually living longer mm -hmm. and so those that have that kind of a mindset have a tendency to uh, uh fade away and not be relevant um they just really don't know what to do them do with themselves because they thought they'd be dead by now right but right. they aren't right. and so it, with our generation, and I don't know why I'm trying to lump you in here with me. <laughs> I'm uh, right there with you. you. Know, uh, I got some years on you. But, but, but I can tell you, with my generation, I am determined to, especially after seeing uh, the Donald Trumps of the world, who, who, and not just Donald Trump, but the Joe Bidens, those guys are, are, are up in age, but they're still doing things. Right, right, exactly. And, you know, it's interesting you say that. I was just talking to my husband the other day. I said, you know, have you noticed that all of our presidents seem to live a very, very long time? You think about President Carter, all of them, you know, what is it? You know, was it less stress was it the freedom of doing what they wanted to do or was it eating right you know i'm sure it was a combination of all of that but yeah yeah when you said that google's and facebook are letting they're not they're taking away that structure that we used to have in a workplace you come in and you clock in and a little bit more freedom i i guess you get there's less stress there's more happiness and you live longer and um, when I talk to younger folks and they're always saying, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I want to go into business, but I'm not quite sure. Or maybe I should just get me a career job. And, and, I, and I tell them, that, you know, in order to get to that entrepreneur mind spirit, you got to think of, you got to think out of, I just want a career for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh, you Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. okay. I'm just checking. No, you just okay, keep, okay, keep okay, good. Okay. I tell you, all of this is so new and fascinating well, to me, the radio world. <laughs> uh, uh, well, here's the thing. Here's, so we're, we're podcasting as well. So I got to ensure that the radio station is going right. And then I got to make sure that the, the video portion is going right. So I'm just, don't uh, mind me. Multitasking. I tell you, that, hey, that's all absolutely. right there. <laughs> talented, talented. And, and, you know, that that's that's uh, that's also a part of, of just... You know, imagine this, 39 years with one company. Oh, that's amazing. That's a long time. Yeah. But in that 39 years, I can remember, I can remember saying, because even when I started with the government, uh, I was, um, a, I had just graduated high school, and my job paid me $11,400 a year. Wow. Teachers were making $9,000 a mm -hmm, year. Mm -hmm. So I was big, you know. Oh, yeah, I, I was know. the man, okay? <laughs> I know, you know, I know. I was the man. <laughs> At a young age. Yes, yes. Uh, and, but, uh, you know, I, I just, I'm so thankful for having the opportunity to 
uh, be in that kind of environment yeah. because without it, I wouldn't be the person that I am. Oh, there she is. is. There she is. She's 39 oh, and 5. My baby, you. come on in here, y'all. We got Tampa Bay, Tammy in the yes. house. We got to give her some applause. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so I, as I was telling Linda, I wanted to save yes. this moment. Tammy, Tammy, my the love of my life. <laughs> 39 years. Happy anniversary to you, happy baby. Happy anniversary to you, too. Oh, I, I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you, too. We're going to have to do it again. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's some songs I want you to play today. Okay. So when I was listening to you, I'll come in. I heard your passion is fashion. Yes, ma'am. But we're doing other things right now, but I also heard you were married, too. Yes, ma'am. So how long have you been married? Well, this is my second marriage, but the That's best good. of all. And this has been 15 years. 15 years on your second marriage. So you've learned some things. Yes, ma'am. And you learn what not to do and what you should do. And you're still learning because every man different. Right? Yes, yes, ma'am. So I am so glad for you to be here with us today because, Daryl, I was going to ask you for some specific songs. Okay. I want to hear One in a Million. I want to oh. hear Always oh. and Forever. Oh. One in a Million was sung at our wedding. Oh, you got it. Now you and got And Always and Forever. Okay. Oh, yeah, because okay. you okay. can just take your time and play, okay. and it's going to be between you and I. Very All good. Right. Very good. Now, I want Very you to reintroduce yourself to me because this is our first time meeting, too, and I'm so glad you came. Okay, I'm Linda Archie, and I've met you before, and, and we've called on the phone several times, Yeah, we've times spoken too. on the phone, but I don't remember us meeting in person. Yeah, I met you with um, Pastor Queen. Oh, at the uh, Black Girls Rock? Yes, ma'am. Now yeah. it's coming back. Hey, how you hey. doing? Well, all right. Uh, Linda and I have spoken on the phone, and she is doing something with food. Um, I don't know quite what it was, and I understand now you with the Department of Defense. I was so glad, Daryl, you covered so many things. I was like, okay, okay. But I said, listen to my man struggling. He did really good. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I'm so proud of him. That's my... Better hat. <laughs> my better hat. Okay. And he brings out the better in me. Um, I wanted to talk about marriages as well because this is the anniversary. I'm going to let him uh, bring up some songs, but I really wanted to hear, Linda, what are you doing? Because I knew you you were out here vendoring. You're I the am. You're out here yes. at 508 today, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I what it, where is your booth? Um, it's inside okay. of the... Um, I don't know what you call that, uh, the big venue area. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call it either. It was our first time uh, actually being in there with it all decorated. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. We can have, I want you to know, if you're thinking of having a wedding, a reception, king say, uh, uh, business conference, anything, we have the space now. It's beautiful. And you can actually patronize, uh, patronize another black person. All right. <laughs> yeah. Now they say keep the money. Yesterday they did Wall Street, mm -hmm. and I think they're doing it today too, right? They're having to the play. Yes. Two o'clock. Black Wall Street, and it was quite informative. Kind of, I thought younger people should have been more younger people out here to actually get the history of Black Wall Street. So, but the venue is beautiful, perfect for a play. I'm hoping we'll do uh, dinner theater at Thap on a regular basis. Oh wow, that would be wonderful. Ah, I'm excited about that. But yes. you're today here with. What are they calling that? Explain that a little That's bit more. That's called the Black Business Expo. Okay. And so they're um, spotlighting and showcasing black businesses in the area, entrepreneurs like myself, small businesses. And what is the name of your company? It's your business. L Diva. I love to say my name. L Diva Couture Boutique. It's the oh. classy, sassy, fabulous boutique. Oh, so fashion is your passion. And you, girl, I didn't think you, I didn't know this was, oh, we, we're at a whole nother level now. Right. You right. know, uh, I always have to have someone that's dressing me. Okay. Okay, okay. so you're going to have to look me up and down, figure out my size, and decide how you can dress me and keep me young and spiffy. Oh, you do oh, oh definitely, definitely. Ah, I had another chick that used to uh, de um, it, decorate me. Dress me. <laughs> her name was uh, Valerie Cunningham. I can't remember what was the name of her boutique, but it was nice. It was elegant. I just loved her boutique, and she had some fly fashion. And anytime I hit the stage, she had me shining. Oh wow! Well. And then I got another chick by the name of it, uh, Tia. Mm -hmm. Tia dresses queens majestically. So if you are larger, and baby, I'm larger in some places more than I want to be. But anyway, she would dress me <laughs> and have room me with looking. Ah, uh, <laughs> see, see, see. I like that. You man. large in all the right places. <laughs> Ooh, he gonna make me you clown. You should see these two. I tell you, they got goo-goo eyes. Each other right now. Well, I feel like I'm intruding here. Oh, good. 
<laughs> well, good, good, good. And next time, bring your husband. Let me so we can play with him too. Okay, all yeah. right. Well, he's we over there. Him. He's over there holding down the booth for me. Oh, yeah, okay. that's my so, better half. You know, right? Yeah. So, oh, it would have been nice if he could have peeped in here with us as well. Okay, now tell me. So, I'm gonna go over there and check out your booth. What's, yes, ma'am. What's over there? Right now, I have all of my fabulous jewelry, gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry. jewelry, and we have our handbags. Okay. And we have the ostrich bag. We have the bamboo bags. Of okay. course, we have to bring a Michelle Obama bag. Okay. Um, and we have all of our beautiful wood jewelry in all different colors and So styles. you're doing accessories today. Yes, ma'am. And then we also have our blingy signature shirts, too. You know, okay. the bling, the black with all of the blingy inspirational sayings on Well, it. is that what my Black Girl Rock t-shirt did? Yes, ma'am. It came from me. Exactly. I love it. I love exactly. it. I would have worn it if I had a known. <laughs> you know, I, I try not to get too into what my... Um, guests are doing mm -hmm. because if I do I won't ask the right questions because if, when you know for yourself right. sometimes you ignore it, but when you know nothing you ask everything mm -hmm. and then my guests uh, my listeners I guess our viewers get to see who you really are look over in that camera See, Daryl has changed things. I like okay. when radio was just radio and I could come to work with my T-shirts and my panties on <laughs> <laughs> when we were home. But see, all that changed. So now that he has us on camera, uh -huh. we have to... Uh, change some things so yeah, right. yeah 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 i wish it because then i could have said this is her shirt i could have spread my arms and all that but see you sent an ad in the paper but it had nothing to do with fashion no okay the ad in the paper in touch news is uh -huh. all about the village market yeah now the village market is an open air market that has a whole bunch of vendors that are selling things we have a, oh. we have a couple of african um um fashion vendors that come out and we have clothes vendors and people mm. that are selling um, jewelry and arts and things. Girl, that I put mad. you on the food page. Oh, because you know I lay out that paper. I've been doing the paper for twenty five years, and for seven years or eight years, I was here doing it by myself. But I lay out the paper and I try to give people. Um, I'm, I'm very conscious of how I position you. So when I saw the food, I thought it was about the food. Well, food is a big part of it because we have food trucks. We have people that are cooking food. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a big produce okay. vendor that comes out. And she... But you're selling your clothes there, too. So it's really a vendor. It's a market, food, fashions, everything. A everything. And then okay. we have live music. We have performers. We also have AfroFit Incorporated has now joined the, the village. And they do an African fitness class for you. But, Linda, what do we have to do to get you out here at SAP at 5508? Have you, because, look, she out has, here. like she has. I'm not now, sure you're out here is. now as a vendor, uh -huh. but actually your own little space. You know, it's um, interesting. I just spoke with the director, I believe it is. Is it Derek Blue? Not Derek. Um, um, is it Georgia? Georgia. His assistant? Um, maybe so, because okay. she was, and, um. And um, we were talking, and she, when I was asking, you know, it's a, a couple of friends of mine was telling me that it's really expensive to have a place out here, and she gave no, me she gave me prices that I could not believe. Right, people will run you off. Don't listen to the yes. naysayers, baby. Don't listen to anyone when you have a dream, baby. Go see for yourself, because some people are just haters and they can't help themselves. You have to forgive them. Right. But yeah, yeah, it's there. It's affordable. It's affordable because they want you to come out here, mm -hmm. do your thing, grow your business, and then move on to the next stage. We call it our own little Wakanda. And after you saw Black Street, I, I mean, I'm called uh, Black Wall Street, mm -hmm. you'll see kind of the vision or where right. the vision come from. Uh, Hammond, um, the James, men, Hammond. James Hammond is the guy who actually founded this place and made it happen. And Derek Blue is taking it further and. Uh, I call him Reverend Derek Blue because he is a <laughs> minister, okay? okay, and he's a praying man. And he, he's a faithful man that's making this happen. He also has a vision, so and he has a vision of Wakanda. All these black businesses coming together, growing, and being able to reinvest in our own community more so than anything. Being able to reinvest in the Wakanda, which is fifty five oh eight or Thap or whatever you want to call it. So, Linda, I got to run over to your table, yes, see what I see for myself. And then, so you have the T-shirts and all that. Do you do the dresses and oh, pants? We have, oh, we have a full-scale boutique. So we have oh, dresses, okay. clothes. We, didn't, we don't bring those out with we, us. Yeah. But, yeah, we have all of that. In fact, the last time I was on, I'm on Cheryl Casal's Let's Talk Business show. Okay, okay I call it Cuso. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah Cuso, Cuso. But it's the way it's spelled, but it's French, huh? So that S-S-E-A-U-X is so. 
Puso. Okay, thank yeah, you so Cheryl much. Puso. I've been calling her that all the time. That's okay. You know, she'll answer because she fly like that. She is. She is the queen diva. But, but, but let me tell you, you know, that when she was on, I went to, to the website to uh-huh. see the kind of clothing that she had. And I kind of spotted one or two pieces I thought you might like. Uh, I might like to see you in. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. Okay, he did. Okay, okay. And my understanding from Cheryl, you're going to be on the fourth Saturday, fat fourth Wednesday of the month, I think, of the show that, that her and I do together. And we're calling that our denim show. Okay. And so you're going to be, our, uh, my understanding, our special guest. And we're okay. all going to wear some some denim. Okay. Whatever <laughs> you say. Yeah, Your yeah. wish is yeah, my command. Yeah. I cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I cooperate right there. Yes. Okay. Uh, about, you know, 37% of the time. But I, did you say, I didn't even get 50. Yeah, I'm a mess now. I, I, got, I walk to a beat of my own drum. But I like to cooperate with anything they're trying to do. I hear with that, and I definitely am avid uh, supporter of those who support me. And Cheryl Cuso has been holding it down on the station yes. for quite some months. Ever mm-hmm. since my mom has come home, I'm not, I haven't been here as often as I have, but she has been up front, ready, and doing her show. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then she also hosts a table at the Power Couples Ball, and she hosted one for me last year. So, hey, whatever Cuso needs me to do, mm-hmm. I'm on it. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we definitely have to come out to the Power Couple Ball. Oh, yes. Yeah, you got to be the Power Couple's Ball. It's a great yeah. night. It's dinner and dancing. It's tuxedos and evening gowns. Oh, it's wow. champagne on every table. And it's not snooty or snobby, as some people say. Mm-hmm. Here are people who work hard to make their money. Right. And they are, they invest in a lot of, no, I'm saying, well, they do invest in other people, but they also have a tendency to support foundations. So it's a lot of people out there with foundations and they're meeting other people who take their money and invest in foundations. They, you know, when you make a certain amount of money, you have extra money, you have to have a tax write-off. Right. So if you can write off and invest in your people at the same time, oh, what a wonderful thing. So here's your opportunity to, to really rub elbows with someone who may have a little disposable income or extra income they can invest in you and have a great time too. Wow. So how do you get invited to the Power Couple Ball? First of all, you don't have to be invited, but you are invited right now. Oh, You're invited yeah. because the newspaper, um, it's it's like any other event. You don't have to get invited to um, Frank and Beverly Mays. If they advertise it and you want to come, you pay and you go, right? Right. Same thing. But oftentimes we do have uh, what made it easier for me to make it happen was I spoke with Power Couples and they invite their friends. And they sell their tickets to their friends. And sometimes if they think their friend is struggling at that time or say no, they may say, I have an extra ticket. Come on, join us. They want to introduce you to it. Now, oftentimes when they introduce you to it and give you a free ticket, don't think they're going to give you something free every time. You know <laughs> right, what I mean? Exactly. So I'm when somebody that. give you something, that don't mean they're going to give it to you free every time. But, yeah, everybody comes. It's date night. At its best. Oh, that's so join wonderful. us. Definitely. I hear the music coming up, so that means we have to take a break. Linda, we're going to be right back. And hey, y'all, don't go anywhere. Linda and I are going to tell you a little bit more about love, marriage, fashion, and all that good stuff. And me and Daryl going to talk dirty. <laughs> okay? 39 years, y'all. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House. Bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. This is Linda Archie with Tayo Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. Uh, 
I got a job as a structural engineer and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than 1 million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hey, this is Tampa Bay Tammy, and you are tuned in to In Touch Radio, reality radio, where everyone is a star. And I'm just excited to be here. I have in the studio with me today, Ms. Linda Archie, retired from <laughs> Department of Defense, running her own fashion place. What do you call it? La Diva? L Diva. L Diva Couture Boutique. L Diva Couture Boutique. And where is it located? It's an online boutique. And she will be coming out here with that if it's, I have anything to do with it. <laughs> She'll be located right out here with 5508. But right now, in, I don't care where you are in the world, you can order from. L Diva Couture Boutique. W, w, go ahead. www.ldivacouture.com. And if this is your first time listening, you're an older listener, younger listener, I like to tell you WWW stands for the World Wide Web. You'll be surprised what people don't know. And we're not local. We're not national. We're international. So people can hear us. So yeah, baby, go ahead. Let me just tell you what the young folks say. To what? They don't say WWW anymore. What they say? Well, we're a wide way. I, I know, I know, but the 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 younger people they don't even use www. That's that just doesn't even come out of their mouth. They just immediately go to typing what they want. Exactly. So, so it's yeah, not necessary anymore. And then they are they going to Google it or they're going to ask Siri or they're going to ask uh, what's the other one? Start with Alexa. A. Alexa. <laughs> you know, you, they they don't have to do anything. So so but with your rate, L, how does it go? Spell it. L Diva. L Diva. L D I V A. Is there a, a accent mark or anything? Um, not when you type it up for the website. Because you can't. Okay, go ahead. So it's L Diva. Couture. Uh-huh. Couture. Uh-huh. Spell uh-huh. couture. Don't assume we know how to yeah, spell yeah, couture. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that word is always missing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, that's right, right. That's the spelling bee word. That's the one going to get you. <laughs> it's going to get you. And, but we need you to get it right so you can get to her website and purchase what you want. Couture spelled. Go ahead. C O U T U R E. Once again, C O U T R E U R E two U's. Two U's. That's why I wanted to make a point. I was gonna holler <laughs> U again, but I messed up. One more time, C O U T U R E. Okay, L Diva Couture, and you can order some of anything: bracelets, purses, dresses. Fancy T-shirts, all that good stuff. Dazzle, ring. Uh, if you like to be bedazzled and sparkling, and I do, that's your place to be. El Diva Couture. Linda Archie, how long you been in Tampa Bay? Oh, I was, well, I wasn't born. My family's from Tampa. Okay. I would have been born in Tampa, but my mom took a trip. And, hey. oops, there I came out. But shortly later, I came back to Tampa, probably Two or three weeks old, came so back you, to Tampa. You graduated from high school here. I graduated from Tampa Bay Tech. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. Well, you went. Did you know? How, oh, well, I ain't gonna ask you how old you are. But Naaman Junior graduated from Tampa Bay Tech. Oh, he went to Tampa Bay Tech, didn't he? Uh, I think so. Uh, I don't know. You know no, Naaman Junior? No, no, no. no the name doesn't sound familiar. Cadillac worked for Demet Cadillac. If you need a Cadillac seat, well, he's in finance now. Well, he's the did, finance did, manager. Uh, so, so here's how you have to kind of figure that. So she did 28 years with the Department of I'm Defense. not, for, no, don't, don't go there. So there Daryl goes. We're not going there. No, no. He'll figure out your age in a minute. I, you know, I am proud to say I've been married 39 years, but everybody be like, 39 years? How old are you? Baby, I ain't but 39 years old, so I don't even know how that's possible. But, yes, I've been married 39 years. Uh, Daryl, do you find my good songs? Well, you know. Did you find my wedding song? I, I found the one in a million. That's all. Uh-huh. all right. You need, we're going to take a break, y'all, and Mr. Johnson is going to play the song that was sung at our wedding. Well, uh-huh. you know. Wait a minute. He, he, what, what? You know, What's the what problem? Oh, here here's what I want to do. What you want to so, do? So, 
at the end of the show. You want to go out on it. I, I'm going. I'm going to play it as we end the show. When the show ends, the s- song is going to play. I know you want to talk about it, but you know it, when it comes to uh, uh, you know copyright laws, I just want to just stay. Well, out you of, can't out play, of that. Oh, oh, and yeah, it'll I kick us out. Stay, yeah, I want to stay. Well, it. how how much can you play without us being kicked out? Oh, I don't know. Not long. Not much. Ten seconds. Who knows? L- uh, let's just. Uh. But what's the name, the guy's name? One in a million, Larry Graham. Larry Graham. Larry so Graham. if you want to go and listen to Do you remember who Larry Graham is? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. I know. <laughs> was it Graham Central there, there, Station? There, was that there, him, too? Your, see, there's your... Uh, you let me know. Yeah. 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 trying to figure it out. Huh? Uh, 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 that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not too far. We're probably all in the same group. <laughs> that's okay. It's all good. Daryl is older than I. There's your uh, right, right, right there. there. I, I just keep him young. Oh, All them good massages I get. That's what happens. That's what it is, baby. Massages. Oh, my God. I'm still grinning. Uh, last night was great. It was fantastic. Wow. Right yeah. You know what? Um, I like to bring holidays in special. Yes, yes, yes. So and we do. We yeah, do. We I do. like to bring holidays in with sex. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So that's how we try to do our midnight hours. If it's a holiday. It's we a try holiday. To bring, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. know, that's supposed to be regular and happening anyway, but... That's the way to bring it in the holiday, especially New Year's, because they say however you start off the New Year's, how you end it, mm-hmm. or whoever you're with. So I'm like, she. So we had some pretty good years in, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really has. And I was wondering, you know, I I wanted to share this too. You say you've been married 15 years, and oftentimes people ask us, "How do we do it?" And um, I want to say straight up, uh, those of you without seeing cast the first stone. Because I don't know any perfect people. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking for the perfect man, you're going to be alone all your life because none of them are perfect. They are just men. If you're looking for the perfect woman, you're going to be alone all of your life because none of them are perfect. But you have to find the one that's perfect for you. Mm. And I guess I found yes, the sir. one that was perfect for me. And I really believe that uh, the truth to uh, uh, to a long marriage is forgiveness. It's the spirit of forgiveness because mm. something is going to happen along the marriage, whether mm-hmm. he spend too much money, stay out too much, too late, look at somebody wrong, uh, and some of them will do more than that. You're going to have to forgive. And mm. if you can't forgive, you won't get into heaven or, and that heaven right here on earth. So the, the most important part in a marriage, I'm beginning to find out, is forgiveness. Mm. I agree. Uh-huh. But uh, the other part is don't give them too much to forgive because at the time it comes from forgiveness to be feeling like a complete fool. So you have to be careful um, in your marriage that you are not disrespectful. And if you are disrespectful, you can you have to have uh, the integrity to apologize and give the person a chance to forgive. Now, I've seen men that say, I told her I was sorry and I apologize. And give her the opportunity to forgive you. Give them some, sp- some space. It's like any other relationship, any other friendship. You argue with the person, you get off the phone, you hang up, you're mad. You know, um, don't let them wall in it too long because they may be them packed up, left, and done a whole lot of things. So try to erase it. Let the apology be quick. and But don't you get mad because they're mad. They got a right to be mad when you have fallen short. So I'm saying the spirit of forgiveness and keeping your hands on each other. Oh, yeah, Mm -hmm. definitely. That's important. Yeah, you got to have fun together. Good sex, good walks, good laughs, good talks, good dancing, good everything. Movies, just enjoy each other like they're your best friend and not someone you had to put on a pedestal and can't enjoy the company of. Exactly. Very good advice, mm-hmm. definitely. So what's your husband's name? His name is Karan. Uh-oh, spell it. K-A-R-A-W-N. So do you go around calling him holy? Yeah, because I'm going to say that's like the book. That's like the Muslim Bible. I wonder if his, was his mother or father Muslim? or No, actually, his Karan. mother put two people's names together. Oh, like I, oh, I got you. I got you. Her best friend name was Wanda, and I can't remember where the K came, the K-A came from, but Wanda. So it's two names Quran. put together, and people think it's Quran, like, like the, the Quran, Bible. right? So we call him KG or K or something like that. Okay. And he in in the corporate world he goes by Ron because nobody else you know the other folks I can't like pronounce. Ron. It's mm. strong, child. It sounds yeah, so strong him, and make, different. Look, make them folks call, call him. Make them make them say it. Quran. Quran. <laughs> yeah, make them say it. Quran. 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 
Yeah, yeah you call me holy if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> they call him Kieran. Oh. All kinds of different names right. they can't pronounce it. Yeah, mm-hmm. when they see him. Do you all have children? Um, we're a blended family. Okay. So, yes, we have a total of six children. Jesus. Together. Together, right. yeah. So, never a dull moment. Now, well, we only have two at home with okay. us right now. How the others are. The two at home, one is 10 and one is 24. Okay. Ooh. What a stretch. Yeah. Will a 24 babysit for you sometimes? Oh, he always does. Oh, yes. that's wonderful. That's <laughs> yeah, he's wonderful. a good, he's a good. He's a good 24-year-old good man. Okay, is he in school, graduated, what's going and on? He just got out of the Army. Uh-oh. So he's trying to find his way of what he wants to do now. He probably um, go to school until something comes up. I remember my minister told my daughter, he she was getting ready to graduate, and he said, if you don't have a job, yet go back to school keep going until you find your place right Uh right. keep it moving but that uh arm that military life is really gonna has i know has broadened his perspective on life it it has it has and he's at we were talking about entrepreneurs Mm -hmm. he's at that sense at that point that he doesn't want to work for anyone he Mm -hmm. wants to have his own business but I always recommend they work for someone anyway. Yeah. Because when they work for someone, it makes them know they don't want to work for someone. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they can realize if I can give them eight hours, I can give myself eight. Right. Okay. Or I can give myself ten. Or even if you give them six, you will some way give someone eight hours a day. So surely you can do the same thing with yourself. Right. To me, it's excellent training. Right. Well, he's done that. Uh-huh. He's done it since he's been out. I have to tell my nephew that, you know. Because, well, not just my nephew, all the young men who have come in and out of our lives, they're saying what they don't want to do. And I'm like, I feel you. I understand. But I pay my dues and I learn my lessons from there. Uh, we're going to have to go. We can't hang around long. I think we only got about two minutes. So, Linda, yes. I want you to give them your website again. Tell them your fashion is your passion. You know what you're doing. You retired from DOD, <laughs> the Department of Defense. So the chick ain't no what I'm saying. This ain't her first rodeo, okay? (laughs) She knows the value of a dollar. She knows how to do things. She's been doing things for years. So now she's doing her own thing, and it is called... El Diva Couture Boutique. Okay, and I'm going to go over. She's out of Thap today. If you're in Tampa, Florida, you may want to come over here to Black Wall Street at 5508. We are in the heart of Tampa off of Hillsborough and 50th Street at Thap, 5508, 50th Street. And El Diva Couture has a vendor out, I mean, a vendor booth out here today. Yes, ma'am. So come purchase something from her. And uh, are you going to remind them about your village market? Oh, yes, definitely. Come out and join us at the village market at East Tampa. It kicks off on June 22nd. Okay. Um, 3206 North Sanchez Street okay. from 9 to 2. We have live entertainment. We okay. have vendors. We got food trucks. We have. Uh, you name fr- it. You yeah, got we got it. Fresh produce. I know a lady called me the other day about. Um, you have some shell black eyed peas. Yes, we will have those as well. <laughs> okay. And you know, my mom is always asking me about, let's go to the market. Let's go to the market. I'm like, what market? Mama, where? So we'll be at the market. Okay. When mama gets back, I'm going to take her to the market. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. My mom's in Memphis, Tennessee, y'all. So I am free. We're celebrating our anniversary. So we're going to go eat after this. And then we're going to see my daughter in Puerto Rico. So I'm excited about these 39 years of marriage. Now, my favorite song back then when we got married was Always and Forever. Each moment with you. We got, uh, they also sung, Barry sung what? Um, I can't remember the song he sang. Oh, Barry White? No. Like Barry White was at our wedding (laughs) scene. Oh, are you talking about One in a Million? No, that was sung by my friend. I can't remember his name. He's dead now. Um, Oh, oh, Dwight? Dwight? Yeah, his name was Dwight what? Um, yeah, Dwight song and Barry song and uh, Barry song a more a beat song. It was a Stevie Wonder song, wasn't it? I, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, it was it. But this oh, song man. is One in a Million by Larry Graham. And I want to tell you again, thank you, Daryl, for not leaving me after 39 years of marriage because well, I haven't been perfect. Ways, baby. You sure yeah. could have left me by now. Yeah, thank we could have left each other, y'all, but we stayed. So you have to stick and stay if you want to. I mean, like, reached this point. And, and you know what? The good thing is, after 39 years of marriage, it's still good to me. 
When I say it's still good to me, and I am grateful for it. So wake up every day and count your blessings. Don't find out what's wrong, but find out what's right. Now, why are you putting that song on? You promised me my one in It's coming right behind it. No, I wanted to come on my show. He didn't. See, this the kind of stuff that make you want to pop him beside his head. (laughs) Happy anniversary. Next time, give me what I want, though. Oh, I am. He always give me what he want me to have. Love y'all. Tampa Bay, the best of the family.